One of the main functions of our shoulder is rotation. And a lot of the times in the exercises that most people are prescribed and our daily movements, we're not addressing rotation. So I'm gonna do a quick part in this in terms of internal rotation and then external rotation. And I think once you prioritize just those two basic movements, you will see a drastic improvement in your range of motion in and around the shoulder, which in turn could minimize or at least mitigate maybe some aches and pains that you might be feeling. What I would suggest is that you find somewhere where you can anchor a band. This is for internal rotation. It's a quite light band as well. You're gonna send your hand up through the band, loop your hand back around so that I don't really have to grip it. From here, what I'm looking to do is I'm going to just allow my hand go behind me. I'm gonna rotate my shoulder forward so that my palm faces up behind. Now, the further I stand out, obviously the more tension is gonna be put under from the band. I'm looking to feel a bit of a, you know, bit of an activation from the shoulder and that I have to actively pull forward to keep my arm in that position because the band wants to pull me back. From here, I'm just gonna step forward a slight bit. From here, what I'll do is I'll allow the band to pull me back so that I can roll it into external rotation. And then I pull back into internal rotation. So you'll see here now I'm addressing, I suppose, both internal and external, but primarily I really want you to focus on that internal aspect. If this feels easy, what I start to recommend is obviously you step further away, but you can also start to bend the arm up behind you, allow it to come back out, rotate as much as you can, and then allow the arm to come behind you. So I'm really trying to get in and around this shoulder. If you're new to this, there is a possibility that you will feel a lengthening of the tissue in and around the chest, perfectly normal. You just be mindful of how far you step forward, and obviously how far you step back so that you're finding what I always call your tipping point of comfort. You want it to be quite challenging. Now the next thing we're going to do is one of my favorite exercises, and this is going to help with external rotation. And all you need here, I'm gonna demonstrate with two different objects just because I want you to be mindful, again, if you haven't done this before. This is just like a um, massage ball, like a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, Anything with a bit of, you want it to be something that you can grip, right? Now, all I'm going to do here is I'm gonna sit into a base position. So I'm sitting on my butt. I can lean against the wall if this doesn't feel comfortable so that I can sit nice and upright. You notice that I've just brought the leg out to the side. I'm gonna place my knee up in a vertical position and my elbow just to sit onto that knee. Then all I want to do here is I want to just bring my elbow just in front of my knee, so now that it's not resting, I want it to lower down as much as I feel comfortable without allowing this shoulder to hike up. So I'm using the side of my body to really keep it down as I go through this motion. And the challenge for external rotation is that when I get to the top, I'm really trying to rotate it back as much as I can. Now, if that feels comfortable, this is where we start to add a little bit of weight. Again, we only work in about increments of one or two kilos because we want to be mindful and we also want to be just on that tipping point of comfort. I set my elbow up on top of my knee. I bring it out in front. From here, I really squeeze my arm. I allow it to go down as far as it goes without the shoulder hiking up. And then I pull back up. And I really allow it to go back as far as feels comfortable before bringing it back forward. So if I show you that side on, I'm really trying to allow it to go back as much as feels comfortable, pull it forward, lower down nice and slowly. Come back up, allow it go behind nice and slowly, and then come back up. What I recommend in terms of your shoulders is just being consistent and being patient, but I suppose the time it may or may not take to see a huge difference. Really focus on that internal and external rotation. And as I said before, you will see a drastic improvement in your flexibility. Stick around for part four. We're gonna be addressing your uh, hip flexor strength. 
Stick around for part four where we are going to be addressing your hips, specifically working on glute strength for increasing your range of motion.